YYW. I think that stands for why, why, why all these little brown boxes? Hey, what's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the 115 Workshop Upgrade Kit for Studio Series Leader Class Megatron. So here we are. And there it is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, let's see, it's the brown box, at least there's a sticker on it, YYW05, there's a QR code right there you can scan, and uh, yeah, brown box, open it up, here are the parts, woo, parts, there's the box, hooray, boxes, little baggie, open up the baggie, dump out parts, and there you go, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have the upgrade kit for Studio Series Dark of the Moon Mags. And here is everything that you get with this kit. You get some thigh fillers. You get these pieces here, which will show you what purpose these serve. These serve two purposes. And you also get a new shotgun for Megs as well. So without further ado, let's get down to the installation. So we'll bring in Mr. Megs. And we will show off how all of this works. So, for the record, I have not done a test run with this kit, so we're doing this live. We're doing this live and in living color. But as you can see, the inside of his thighs, all gappy-like, but now we can fill these in. So, we take this piece right here, and obviously, all these pieces are 3D printed. It's actually a pretty smooth print. I mean, it still looks kind of grainy, but one of the smoother 3D prints that I've seen. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So this piece will just go right in here, like so. And that, ooh, that fits nice and snug. Nice and snug like a bug in a the rug. There you go. You can see the color matching is not exact, but you yeah, know, it is what it is. With 3D printed stuff, you can never uh, expect like spot on color matching, it's rare. And then this piece right here just pushes in up top. See how that goes. Okay, that seems pretty nice. And this piece will just nestle in right here, like that. And oh, there we go. Hey, that works out pretty nicely. And then we get this little piece right here, and this will actually fill in this uh this hole here for the rivet. And that will, ah, and that will fall right out of my hands. Butterfingers, anyway. And that should just push in right there. Oh, there we go. Nice and snug. Everything fits nice and snugly, too. There you go. Fills that in. There you have the filled in versus not filled in parts. And you can see how that, that's very, <laughs> this is a very wrong angle, but hey, it's the only way I can show this off. But you can kind of see what's going on there. So yeah, that works out pretty well. That's nice, nice, nice. All right, so let's do the other side here. And all this fits in nice and snug too. Nice and snug, I like that. I like it, I like it. That works out very well. And this one, ooh, that one's really snug. And that one, there you go, boom. That feels like it can go in a little bit more on top. There we go. There we go. Now we got in the inside of his legs all filled in. And we'll just pop in this little little stopper here. Boop. Again, nice and snug. There we go. That's nice. 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 I like it. I like it. Okay. Well, that was easy peasy, both lemon and squeezy. So now what we do with uh, these sections here and just show you the detail here. It's pretty nice detail going on. Not too shabby. Could have used a little bit of paint, but that's okay. Looks pretty nice. What you do with these bits here is these bits are to uh, just kind of fill in the gappage here on the sides of his body. So these, you can see there's a little slot right here. It's just going to slide right over this back section like so. And you just push that in and again that's nice and snug. And let me just do the other side, and that will just slot on 
like so. And again, it holds on pretty securely. As you can see, it just kind of fills up that void there. So then those big gaps. And you get some extra detail there. Let's make sure everything is sitting properly. There you go. Not too shabby. You know, it helps. It helps fill in the gaps. Not too bad. Not too bad. And this does not affect, you know, this. You can still put his little chains on him and everything. It doesn't affect that in any way. It doesn't hinder anything. It's just there to kind of fill things in a bit. But yeah, there you have that right there. And the last thing you get is a new shotgun here. It's pretty nicely done. Uh, one thing that's a bit disappointing is just the... Uh, the paintwork on it because let me show you the picture here on the website look you see the picture you see that you see how nicely painted that looks looks all nice and rusted and this this looks so good and then the one you actually get just looks like they just lightly brushed some brown on it <laughs> but yeah no. actual product may differ slightly from what is pictured but you know it is what it is i may have to uh maybe try to uh a little bit of a better paint job on this get some brown get a little bit more brown on it make it look a little bit more rusted or whatever but still it is nicely done again for being 3d printed looks pretty good if i do say so myself and just to compare it with the one that the figure comes with you can see lengthwise it is the same it's just a bit more filled out a little beefier, has a little bit more body, a little bit more bounce, especially on this side. You got some hollow bits here, so yeah. It's even a bit thicker, as you can see. So yeah, the new one has some more body to it. And it works exactly the same way. You can just put it in his hand, like so. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew, bang bang. He has the uh, the peg here, so you can hold it in his left hand. It has the peg right here, so if you want, you can store it on his back. Like the original one could, so all the functionality is still there. But yeah, there is Meg's fully upgraded up, and yeah, that's pretty cool. It works out pretty well, and hey, if you want to, you know what? What's better than a Meg's with uh, with one shotgun? A Meg's with uh, two shotguns, if I can get this back down. There we go, there we go. Double shotgun, pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. Hey, all things you can do if you want to do it. But there you have how it works with the robot mode. So now let's get down to the truck mode. All right, so here we are in truck mode and everything transforms exactly as it did before. Nothing is hindered by the, uh, the leg filler pieces, but he does become a parts former now because now you have these bits to deal with and you can use these or not use these if you want to hey totally up to you but we will show you what other purpose these serve and what you do with these bits are we come here to the cab and we want to raise up these panels a little bit just get them out of the way and these are going to which way am i going i'm going this way so you basically just want to slide these up like so just kind of get them turned around as best you can like that you can see what I'm doing you can see this little little clip there that goes around and then we'll do the other side just get that up and around whoops and then drop him because that's what I do is butterfingers hey. Hey, hey, hey there you go so you get those in there like that and they will tab together like that and then we can just bring this down just kind of get in there and just kind of get everything a little bit more straightened out oops i bumped the camera sorry there's no real elegant way to do this and film it but well, there we go and you can see now the back of the cab is nice and closed up so that's nice how that works that works out pretty well as you can see so not too shabby not too shabby at all and the new shotgun stores like the other one did you can see there's a slot right there on the bottom and that just goes over the tabs like so whoops like that and stores exactly as it did right there doesn't hinder anything and all the bits and pieces and odds and ends of this megatron 
upgrade kit. So, there you go! So there you have the upgrade kit for Dark of the Moon Megs. And yeah, like I say, with all of these upgrade kits, you know, it, it does what it sets out to do and it does it well. You know, it fills in the thighs. It also helps to cover up the gaps in the sides of the bot. Um, for the truck mode, it fills in the back of the cab and it does that pretty well as well. Um, the shotgun is a nice touch. It would have been nice if it was as well painted as it is in the pictures, but that's something you could fix yourself. But all in all, it's a very nicely done shotgun as well for being 3D printed. Looks very good. And uh, yeah, all around, it's a pretty solid kit. So there you go. And now I picked this up from TF Safari. I'll put a link to their site in the description down below so you can check that out. For all your other Transformers needs, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com, also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love Peace Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the 115 Workshop Upgrade Kit for Studio Series Dark of the Moon Leader Class Megatron, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face. Yes.